Hello again kids. Today is, you guessed it, it's our fourth day of online VBS 2021. We are so glad that you are here again with us. Now, before we get started, we're going to close our eyes and bow our heads for a word of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come before you again today. We thank you for all those who are joining with us. We pray, dear God, that we would have a great time today. Father, as we go into today, you would guide us and you, O oh God, would show us how to glorify you in all that we do. We ask for a great time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, so our team for this year is Legos. Let everything glorify our Savior. You got that right. Now, it's memory verse time. Can you remember our memory verse? Let's say it together. It's Psalm 150 verse 6. Let everything that had breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Now, do not forget to learn this memory verse because we'll be saying it every single day. Also, do not forget to leave your registration number or name in the comments below for a chance to win in our random draw. Now, who's ready to put back on their dancing shoes for worship time? Let's go!
These are the apostles of Jesus. They followed Jesus during his time here on earth. Before going to heaven, Jesus told the apostles to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. So, after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles and some other people who believed in Jesus stayed in Jerusalem. One day, when they were all gathered together, there came a sound from heaven like a mighty rushing wind. Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. They all began to speak in other languages 
The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to do this. At that same time, many religious Jews from different nations was living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? They asked. When they heard the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and filled with wonder. They asked, How can it be that these people are from Galilee and we are hearing them speaking in our own languages about all the wonderful things God has done? What does this mean? They questioned. However, others in the crowd did not believe it was really a miracle. They thought the believers of Jesus was just acting strangely. Peter then stepped forward and shouted, Listen carefully, all of you. We are not acting strangely. This gift is from God. Peter reminded them that God had said this would happen long ago. He told them about how Jesus was crucified and then raised to life again, just as God had said. Peter told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given to them the Holy Spirit just as he promised. Peter's words began to change how the people thought and felt and they asked him what they needed to do to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God, Peter told them. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, once we repented of our sins, the Holy Spirit comes and lives inside of us and helps us to live fruitful lives, have a relationship with God and glorify Him. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. The believers listened to the apostles and practiced what they were taught. They fellowshiped, shared meals and prayed together. The apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders and everyone were amazed. With the Holy Spirit living inside of them, the believers met together and shared everything they had. They cared for and helped those in need. They worshipped in the temple together, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, shared their meals with great joy and praised God. Each day, God added to the church those who gave their hearts to Jesus. So you see, God gave us the Holy Spirit. And when we have the Holy Spirit, the, He helps us to live right. So we can do things that will be pleasing to Him. Things that will be pleasing to God. Wow! Now I understand. Thanks for telling me that wonderful story, Papa Gordon. Well, you're welcome, Gracie. Bye. So you see kids, because we are all sinners, we must repent of our sins by being washed with the blood of Jesus Christ, becoming a part of God's family, and then receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit to help us glorify our Savior. Now it's memory verse time. Hi everyone, let's learn our Bible memory verse. Today's verse is taken from the book of John chapter 14 verse 26 and it says, The Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name will teach you all things. This verse tells us that it is our Father God who sends his Holy Spirit. Now, why does God send the Holy Spirit? Well, the verse tells us one of the reasons is to teach us in all things. Now, when we believe in Jesus, God sends his Holy Spirit to live inside of us to teach us all things. So the Holy Spirit is our helper and he can help us in all areas of our life. So he can help us in our schoolwork or he can even help us to be a good friend. And I think that is so cool that God loves us so much that he sends his Holy Spirit to help us. Now today is Thursday. 
So let's call today's Memoryville session Tempo Thursday. Now in music, tempo just means how fast or how slow the music is. So that's what we will be using today. We will be using fast and slow to help us to learn our memory verse. It's quite simple, so if it sounds confusing, don't be afraid. Continue to follow on the board with the words to our memory verse as I teach you how to say some of our memory verse fast and the other parts slow. So we'll start off by saying the first part slow, then fast, then slow, then fast. It should be fun. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. Let's try that again. Continue following along with the words that we have up here. And I will teach you fast and slow. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. Let's say it a few more times so that we get it good enough to start to remove parts from our board. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, in my name will teach you all things. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, in my name will teach you all things. We'll say it three more times and then we'll move on to the next stage. John 14, 26 says, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. One more time. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. I think you all are doing very well. So, let's start to remove one part at a time while saying our memory verse using tempo. Fast and slow. Let's remove will teach you all things. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, in my name, will teach you all things. Great! Let's remove the Holy Spirit. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. Nice. The next part we will remove is in my name. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name will teach you all things. And we have our last part up there. We're going to remove that so we have no words up on the board. Let's say our memory verse three times and I'm sure you all know it by now. So let's go. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, in my name will teach you all things. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, in my name will teach you all things. 
One more time. John 14, 26 says, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. Well, that's it for Memory Verse session today with our Tempo Thursday Memory Verse session, that is. I hope you all enjoyed it. I certainly did. So remember to keep practicing your memory verses, not just today's memory verse, but all the others that you learned so far. And continue to send in your videos. I would love to hear your Tempo Thursday memory verses. Until tomorrow, God's willing. Bye. Professor Joy, remember when Jesus forgave our sins and made us clean? Now today we are going to see how the Holy Spirit fills us. Now I am going to ask for my helping hand. Now we are going to see how the Holy Spirit fills us. Whoa! Now, this is how the Holy Spirit fills us. Now we can take the gospel around the world. Hope you enjoy experiment time with Dr. Jerry. Bye! Now it's game time!
Now it's craft time.
Well kids, I can't believe it's the end of day four already. Can you believe it? We just have two more days to go. But before we go today, let's say a word of prayer. So close your eyes and bow your heads. Dear Jesus, Lord, I thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to be with us. And I thank you that he will allow us to glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we see you tomorrow. Bye.